Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, this week what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something a little different. We are going to start taking a look at kind of some, some guitar gear together and uh, really excited to kind of show you a little bit of stuff that I've been using over the years. Um, so it's a lot of really proven stuff that, uh, uh, again, I've, I've been using for a number of years and stuff that <clears throat> will last you a while, uh, stuff that, yeah, it's been really, really helpful for me. And, um, and things really that aren't too expensive. So I'm gonna personally be reviewing um, some guitar gear. So really excited to start that with that. And, um, and the purpose of this review and future reviews um, are going to be to serve you as you are uh, looking for gear that you're going to possibly buy in the future or things that, you know, you didn't really even know existed. <laughs> so that's always helpful. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do is we'll actually leave a link below where you can actually just go right to the gear and, um, and take a look at it if you're interested in, um, you know, seeing what it goes for on Amazon or that kind of thing. And, um, and so any uh, link that I leave below is going to, uh, uh, will we'll earn us a small commission. So if you want to shop through that link as well, uh, that would really serve us. All right. So um, the first thing that we're going to review is a Kaiser Capo. So I've got it here, uh, but we'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see it a bit closer. Now, this Capo I have had for probably about eight years, maybe even a decade. Um, it's a little squeaky, just a little squeaky. So, uh, but it's it's a really, really great capo. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. And I have gone back and forth. I've used other capos that have costed upwards of 40 bucks. Um, that's probably the, been the most expensive ones that I've used, uh, 20 bucks on Amazon. It probably was like eight, nine, ten dollars when I initially bought it. So, um, so really cheap, really effective thing to use um, on your guitar, and it'll last you a really, really long time. So, um, so basically, what I kind of wanted to go over um, with with this review is uh, is what it does. Um, I want to tell you um, how easy it is to use these particular things. Of course, if you're moving to use a capo, um, you will already probably know how to use a capo or know what it's about. So, um, but we can certainly talk about that. Um, some of the pros and cons of this particular capo. And then um, I want to, uh, yeah, I, I want to maybe compare it to some other products that we've been using. Um, and, uh, but yeah, my goal is to be as, as helpful as possible. So let's just jump right in. So this, um, this capo, like I mentioned, uh, like 20 bucks, right? So, uh, of course you use a capo to change the key of your guitar. So for instance, if you're going to, uh, if you're, if you're playing in the key of G and you want to play in the key of A, you're just simply going to take the capo and put it on the second fret of your guitar, right? Some of the things that we've talked about in our, in our online course, in our beginning course. Um, so, but with this particular capo, um, this capo is super easy to use. So whenever I use this capo on my guitar, I usually, and you'll see it in some of the videos, I usually will just basically put it onto the, the head of my guitar, the headstock of my guitar, and I'll put it on the top of the headstock of my guitar, um, you know, far enough away from the, the tuners that they're not gonna get in the way when I'm trying to adjust anything. Um, but I'll just put it there and I'll leave it there. Now, some people will use capos like this and they'll put them upside down underneath the, the neck of their guitar. Um, I don't know that that would work too well with this one because of the shape. Uh, it's really designed to be kind of used with your thumb and your index finger, at least that's how I do it. Um, but again, it's super easy to use. I mean, I've been using this thing for a decade and it's super easy to just go down to the headstock, take it off, boom, second capo. Uh, and it's really no big deal. So it's super easy to use. Um, and again, it's lasted me for a really, really long time. So um, it's worth the investment uh, as far as I'm concerned. All right, so some similar products. Um, this is a different capo, which I'll talk about later. Um, it's a G7 capo. I spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> and it sits in my guitar case. 
Um, some people like these. They are uh, an adjust. They, they basically you can basically adjust the tension on them. Um, uh, I've used it over the years, and to be honest, with my particular guitar, Kaiser works really well. And with any other guitar, any other guitar I've played over the years, um, the Kaiser has been my my go-to. And the thing that I bring with me when I'm playing live, or um, or any you know any setting, if I'm gonna um, uh, go pick up a guitar that's super expensive and I, I want to use a capo on it. Um, I'm going to use the Kaiser. It's just super easy to use. It's a known brand. Uh, folks all over the world use it on Amazon. Literally just on one Amazon page. It had a thousand sa uh, sales last month, which is crazy. So, um, so super popular. Now, um, for different user levels. So if you're a beginner, um, this cape is going to work really well. Uh, it works really well. I'm not a beginner, uh, but when I was a beginner, I used this capo, and then of course, I, like I said, I tried some other ones. Um, but if you're a beginner, it works really well. It's super simple. Um, it doesn't take a lot of practice to know how to use it. Um, and when you put on your guitar, on your neck of your guitar, um, you don't have to adjust anything and get the tension like just right, you know, to where it's like, okay, now my strings are buzzing. Why is that happening? Or, you know, now I'm like completely out of tune because I clamped it down too hard, whatever. So if you're a beginner, it's a really great choice. Uh, if you're intermediate or advanced, uh, it's also a great choice. Like I said, I've been using this for years and years, um, even as my guitar playing has improved. And uh, it's just, it's really just old faithful. In fact, it's actually almost a little rusty, like the, <laughs> the spring steel inside, just a little tarnished. But, uh, but so for, for really for any level, if you are a beginner, intermediate or advanced, um, or maybe say you've never played with a capo, um, but you are intermediate or advanced and kind of want to start getting into that, um, playing some folk music or, or that kind of thing, um, or say you want to have a bit of a different sound for your guitar, uh, say you're playing with like a, a band with a couple different acoustic instruments and you want to play a bit higher range, but you want to play more simple chords, um, that kind of thing. The Kaiser Capo, I think personally, is the way to go. So, um, so for the money, I think it's the best option um, for me personally. Um, and then, um, yeah, so I've never had to actually have a Kaiser Capo replaced. <clears throat> Again, like I said, really high quality stuff. Um, but I would imagine if you had to have your, your Capo replaced or fixed or something, um, they'd be pretty easy to, to reach out to. Um, but again, like I said, for the money, you're getting a really solid capo that's going to last you a really long time. Um, super easy to use, and yeah, it's just uh, it's solid. It's not it's not going anywhere. So, um, so now um, I know that some other folks probably have said, you know, I would prefer a tension uh, adjustable capo, like G7. Or uh, there's some other ones out there that you will actually um, attach to like the, to the neck of your guitar, and you'll just simply slide it down and lock it whenever you you know whenever you get to the, the right fret uh, on your on your neck of your guitar. Um, those are fine. The the thing I don't like about the tension capo, uh, the G seventh in particular, is for me I could never find that the right tension. Um, now, if you've found the right tension for the G7th capo or some of these other capos that use, um, you know, that are adjustable tension, um, let me know because uh, I would certainly love to use it. I mean, I don't want it to just sit in my case all the time. But, um, but, but for me personally, it's super easy. It's super quick. You know, you're not going to be sitting there trying to adjust the tension while you're playing. Um, the ones that slide down the neck, I don't have one of those again because I, I don't particularly love how they how they do. Um, but but you know, if you if you have some experience with these or the other kind, um, definitely let me know because I would I would love to to be able to use it a bit more. <laughs> but for me, again, for ease of use and for uh, quality of your purchase, um, 
I think this is the way to go personally. There's not much to it, not a bunch of mechanical stuff like the G7. Um, and then there's not some other issues where, you know, with some of the other tension capos where you have to adjust it mid song, you're trying to figure out, okay, is it tight enough? Oh no, it's not, yes it is, you know. So that's, that's uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm, what I'm thinking there. Um, so, uh, you know, in conclusion, um, for the money, the Kaiser, I think, is the best capo. Um, for the quality, I think it's the best because you're paying 20 bucks right now. Um, back in the day, it was like 10, but you're paying 20 bucks to get a capo that's going to last you a really long time. Um, and something that, that a lot of folks are using. A lot of folks use the Kaiser capo. Like, I mean, like I said, they had like a thousand sales just on this one Amazon channel last month. So. Uh, so a lot of folks are using them. They're a trusted brand um, around the world for their capos. And uh, and it's really just not gonna do you wrong. Uh, like I said, I've been playing with this one, this like this exact capo. I didn't buy another one for this. I literally just took it out of my case over there. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing with this capo for, for almost a decade. And uh, so I, I, I personally think that uh, that the capo, this particular Kaiser capo is, is really high quality. Um, so, if you uh, have any comments or questions about the Kaiser Capo, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. <clears throat> Would love to, to, you know, help answer any questions. Um, <clears throat> for the online music school setting, this is what I tell my students to get, you know, when they're saying, hey, what do I need? I know I need a guitar, right? I know I need a guitar pick. I know I need some other stuff, you know, what do I get as far as a guitar capo goes? Um, and I always recommend them uh, this Kaiser Capo. So. Um, so, in sum, great capo, and uh, really uh, excited to share that with you guys. Uh, I'm passionate about it because for me, for all these years, uh, it's it's done really well. It's never caused my guitar to buzz or anything like that. So, but if you've got any questions or, or any comments about it, or want to share anything about some of the the uh, tension capos, you know, feel free to leave those as well, and we'd love to hear your uh, your input. So, again, I'll leave the link in the uh, description for you to uh, to check out. And uh, while you're here, if you want to. Uh, subscribe to our channel or uh, or check out any other videos or playlists feel free to have a look around thanks so much see you soon